Hey everyone, this is Sasha bringing you a video tutorial today from BP for You. And today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about some plugins. And so plugins are kind of like add-ons that you can add to your Lightroom. Um, you can add these to Photoshop as well. Um, so they are they're just like little outside programs that you can add to into them that usually have a very specific job. For example, um, I did have a plugin called Portraiture. Um, I really loved this this um, plugin, and so you can get this and you can buy this one online. You can also get a free trial of it. There are several websites that sell it. So this is a skin smoothing um, plugin, and you can see that you can go from this to this. Um, that would be a little bit strong for me, but you can see how you can use that in order to really enhance um, the skin and take away all those imperfections, maybe some acne or wrinkles, and really um, go through and smooth that out. And so another one that I had looked into one time, I had seen a friend use it, and she had this picture that was almost completely black. And what she had done is she had grabbed a picture of her daughter. She didn't check her settings, her camera settings, before she took the picture, which is something that everybody does from time to time. She loved the picture, but you almost couldn't even see it. It was really, really dark. And so she took it into Lightroom, and she bumped the exposure about four stops, I think she said, which is a lot. Now normally, a picture like that that's so underexposed by the time that you got done bumping the exposure, the grain on it would be ridiculous and you would trash it anyways. Well, she ran this plugin that she had downloaded offline and I can't think of what the name of it is and I can't even remember who I had read this from, but she um, she ran this, this plugin and it was a noise reducing plugin and um, the picture never looked like the after. You would have never guessed that her picture was so incredibly underexposed in the before because the plugin did such a beautiful job of keeping the details whilst um, eliminating that noise. And so definitely go ahead and type into your favorite search engine some free plugins so that you can try those out. And they will come with some downloading instructions as well on how to install them into your, into your version of Lightroom. And so they can be really fun to play with and they can be just great little add-ons to your, to your Lightroom. And so when I had the portraiture, I would come up here into my menus and I would um, just go ahead and I would select that and it would open it up into a new menu over top of my photo. And it would almost work similar to how a layer would. Um, but then when I applied it to my picture, of course it was all smushed down into one and it would just take me back into regular Lightroom. And of course that, um, that layer would have then been applied and it would be right over top of my original photo there. And um, again, you can get that one for Photoshop as well. I know a lot of people like to run it and then use it on Photoshop on a layer just so that they can turn the opacity way down. And you can control that in the portraiture as well. You can reduce a lot of that in there so that you don't have that real plasticky look. I don't have experience personally using any other plugins, but I know that there are tons and tons and tons of them out there for you to look into. So thank you for watching this video tutorial. Happy editing.